The problem with disappointment is that disappointment also, if you don't understand it, can turn so ugly so fast. Too many people allow disappointment to turn into resentment. So many people think that this disappointment for them symbolizes the end. When you allow for disappointment to turn into resentment and you allow disappointment to turn into the final verdict, you're losing what disappointment actually can become for you. And I want you all to start looking at disappointment as motivation. How many times have you been faced with something that was disappointing? Let's say you go in to get a job and you're on your last interview. And I have been in this position, man. I was trying to get an insurance job one time years ago. And I went in and I had gotten gone through about three or four interviews. I was at my final interview. And I said, man, I'm about to get this job, man. Get my little family together. I'll be all right. And got to that interview and they told me no. That disappointment for me was gut-wrenching. I actually got in my car, my little 72 Chevy, and I was driving off, man. And tears was in my eyes when I got up on the freeway and I drove back and I looked back over at that big building with that big powerful name on it. And I had gone through four interviews and all of a sudden I was so disappointed in not getting hired. But you know what I learned to do though? From that moment on, I turned all my disappointment into motivation. I said, okay, I use it as a challenge. Okay, I'll show you. From the time my teacher told me that you ain't gonna never be nothing, that there's no way they'll put somebody like you on TV because you have a stuttering problem and you can't even talk. But who are you who is issuing out this disappointment? Because you're not gonna make me resent you and you're not gonna cause me to think that you're denying me this opportunity or you handing me this bad news of disappointment. I'm not going to allow you to be my final verdict. You are not going to be the person who is the author of my destiny. You are not it. That belongs to God, not you. And I will not give that to anyone. So when you're facing disappointment, do not hand that disappointment over to the person who gave it to you in the form of empowerment. Do not allow them to control your destiny that causes you to go into such resentment that you become bitter. That all of a sudden now, all you think about is that you don't have to do that. They are not the author of your future. That belongs to God and only God. Don't let them trip you up by tripping you out. Now I've had shows canceled, gigs taken. I've been fired from radio. I've been all of that. Oh, I've had some disappointing setbacks. And I just quietly say to myself, you ain't my God. You who think you have the power by telling me no, by turning me down, by refusing me, by voting against me, by telling me that I don't have what it takes. No, 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 no. It's just because you don't know. Because you don't know what God really has for me. That ain't your fault. So why bear resentment for these people? Because they are not the author of your destiny. And don't you dare give them that. You take that disappointment and you use it as the motivation. I feel sorry for people who tell me no, because you know what I know? I know they just don't know. And I end up somehow, through God's grace and mercy, showing them all. Keep the right attitude, y'all. God got something for you through all your disappointment.